In this video we're going to show you how to remove a stepper motor from a mill and how to install it if you replace it with a high torque stepper motor or another stepper motor and also how to remove the stepper motor mount and coupling from the end of the slide screw. Whether, this, whether you're doing this to a lathe or a mill, the process is all the same. The tools you need, I've got a T-handle, 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, I've got a 3 8 inch uh, combination wrench, I've got a 9 64 Allen wrench, and two 3 30 seconds Allen wrenches. And that's all you need to take this apart. Uh, when you get it, you'll notice that your stepper motor has three screws in it and the fourth screw is missing and that's because we use that for a zip tie to keep the cable to your stepper motor from pulling out. So the first thing you need to do is snip the zip tie to get this off. Uh, just snip the head off so you don't cut into the wire itself and that takes care of that one. So that guy's done. And then we, re we loosen the other three screws these are three 832 screws. One, two, just loosen them, don't take them off. All right, now, on this side, you'll notice that there's an access hole through the stepper motor housing. That's so that you can get an Allen wrench into the set screw that's in the coupling inside. So what you do is you put it through here, through your access hole, and you turn the coupling until you feel, feel the set screw. You feel the set screw. Engage the 3 30 seconds Allen wrench in the set screw. Now what I'm going to do is just break that loose. If it's too hard to do with your finger, use your 3 8 wrench as a breaker bar. And just break that loose. Once it's loose, you want it to stay in there for right now. This time I'm going to take out these three screws that hold the stepper motor in place. And we'll set them over here. Now what I want to do is loosen the set screw a couple turns. Leave it there and see if I can turn the, the hand wheel. If I can turn the hand wheel that means that the set screw is no longer engaged with the slot on the shaft and now my stepper motor should pull out which it does. So my stepper motor is out that part of it is complete. Okay. Now for the next stage if I want to remove my coupling to replace bearings uh, remove the entire coupling and motor mount to replace the screw what I do next is I leave the Allen wrench or the 330 seconds Allen wrench in there. I take a 3 8 wrench and I loosen the preload nut that's on the screw. First thing you do is you look to see what uh, direction the thread is. Is it left handed or right handed? And looking down at this thread, at the angle of the thread as it's going out, it's this way, so that means it's a left hand thread. In order to get the looseness, I have to turn it counterclockwise. If you're turning it clockwise, you're going to ruin your bearings. The best scenario, the best system for or setup to break this preload nut loose is to have your motor mount securely mounted and a, the short, a short distance between your motor mount and your saddle. There is Loctite on the preload nut, so this is, doesn't always work because there's limited Okay, this one actually, I, I got about an eighth of a turn. This one actually broke free and I'm good. So I can actually break it free here and back it off a couple turns. If the Loctite was so tight that it wouldn't come undone with that rotation right there, then we have to disconnect the stepper motor mount and shift the whole part out so I have better access to the nut and I've got more rotation. In order to take the stepper motor mount off, I need to, I'm going to need to break the preload nut loose to get the coupling off. So what I'm going to do first is take the two 832 screws out of the bottom of the stepper motor mount so I can slide the unit forward and get better access to the preload nut. Okay, so Again, if it's too tight, just use your wrench as a breaker. Okay, and they're in there snug. 
that's one. Two. We'll take the 832 screws all the way out. And once they're removed, this whole unit can be pushed in and out. So now I have access to the preload nut. My set screw is still in, or my Allen wrench is still in the set screw going through the access hole. So I can use that as opposite, opposing force to the preload nut. This is a left-handed thread, so the preload nut threads on left-handed. And these, the preload nut is Loctited on. It's removable Loctite. With a little extra force, you should be able to remove it like I just did there. You just want to back it off a turn or two. Actually, a turn is fine. Next, Inside the coupling is another 540 screw, which is why we have two of these 332nd Allen wrenches. You go inside and get your Allen wrench on the screw. You're at 540 screw. You leave the other Allen wrench in the access hole. And we use that for opposing force to break the center screw loose. Pretty good force. Okay, and that guy comes loose. And we take this center screw all the way out. If your screw starts to turn, just hold your screw steady. All right, and you can see there's a little bit of the red Loctite here. Okay, the Loctite that we use is 262 thread locker. This is high strength uh, Loctite for threads. It is removable. You don't want to get anything that says permanent. If you use permanent Loctite, your machine will go together and never come apart again in your lifetime. You can buy small quantities of this at any auto parts store. So again, that's Loctite 262, thread locker, high strength. All right, we'll take out the two 832 screws and the 540 from inside, the coupler. And once you've got that taken apart, the coupler should come right out of here. I want to push on a little bit. There we go. Your coupler comes out, the inside bearing is still on it, and the back bearing. So you have two shoulder bearings, one on the coupler on the inside, and these are sandwiched between the wall of your motor mount. So if we were going to replace the bearings uh, or replace the coupler, you would take it apart to this extent right here. 